Um, coach, just to first start off with a general comment about the game, and then we'll open up to questions here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough to kind of probably talk about that in just a couple minutes. I mean, I thought it was, once again, an incredible hockey game, and uh, you know, certainly could have gone either way. Um, you know, for us, I was happy how we played after our first period. We kind of got our legs underneath us. We were a little bit nervous, I thought, first 20, and then after that, I thought we started playing our style of play. But, uh, you know, obviously, it, it's we're not here without these two next week. You know, Kelsey and, and you know, Shannon had tremendous games today, and... Uh, Congrats to Plattsburgh on an incredible season. Um, you know, obviously they still have a game tomorrow, but I think you know that coaching staff and that program. I can't say enough about it. Uh, we were fortunate enough to find a way to win today, and, and we'll look forward to tomorrow. We'll be playing in the championship game. Did you mind moving the mics oh. just in front of you? Thank you, uh, Coach. What did you say? Uh, we're saying to the second division. I feel like it probably would have been a do or die. What words did you use, if any, at that point going into the third period? You know, I think we have a good leadership group. They said a lot of great things even before I got in the locker room. And uh, you know, we were just a, a puck bounce away from making a play. Um, I certainly thought we could have had a couple goals in the second and just for whatever reason it didn't bounce our way, um, getting an opportunity to finish it. But uh, you know, going into the third, we understood what it was going to take. And you know, all year I think we battled through a little bit of adversity. And, and every time somebody pushes us, so to speak, you know, we answer that. And uh, you know, I was happy with how we played in the third and, and certainly goes to show you know, what type of third period we had and then even the overtime, every time they carried the play, we pushed right back and, and were able to answer. Shannon, what is it like to be down 2 nothing and then score three straight goals and take down what is mostly deemed a, a dynasty in D3 women's hockey? It was pretty surreal, to say the least. Uh, I said going into this weekend that we weren't losing and that was the mindset from there out. Everybody worked hard, played our systems, and to take down a team that really thought they had it in the bag after two goals. You know how it feels to lose a two goal lead, and we just kept playing those straight games. Coach, as you got into the double overtime there, we uh, started to see you know, the fourth line rolling in and out there at times. Uh, how much of an impact did your depth have? on the outcome of this game tonight? I've been saying it all year. I don't think there's anybody else that has the depth that we have. I mean, you look at the game that Tristan Tolan and Jess Adams had today for us, who I don't like to call them the fourth line. I think we have two third lines. Um, you know, For us, I, I think you know, they were able to adjust and have a really good game for us. I mean, they're two kids that are freshmen, and you know, certainly we're nervous coming into this weekend, but it just goes to show what type of character and, and you know how much talent we have on our roster. Kelsey, uh, <laughs> all, all through that through that game, especially the overtime, Plattsburgh had plenty of scoring opportunities. Um, how did you deal with the pressure knowing that one goal was going to end it? Um, I think that it came through my team. You know, them giving me a pat on the tap, pat on the pads nonstop, and saying, "We'll get one for you. We'll get one for you." And you know, I knew that I just had to give them a little bit of time, and I didn't mind taking a few extra ones. You know, but it. It really came through them. Everything does come through them, and them diving in front of pucks nonstop. Really, I just I'm really lucky to have the team in front of me that I do, and that's why we won this game today, and why I was able to make the saves, and you know they made them right along with me. So, uh, Shannon, is this, uh, is this the greatest game you ever played? Her. <laughs> College hockey? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Deep hockey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty surreal. Uh, growing, up, growing up in New Jersey, how did you get started in hockey? What was the path of inspiration? Um, well, my grandpa got me started. Uh, him and I were really close. We'd always go to the rink and I'd watch games all day with him. And he gave me my first pre skates. Okay? Um, so it's something special that I share with him. I always go out with us and all that. So I credit him with starting me and my mom's family. So him, they all played growing up 1.8% person in the house. Three brothers, their mom, their dad played, so it's a big hockey family for us. Coach, did you guys assume the, the David versus Goliath role? It, was that talked at all about being an underdog and, and knowing that those are, you know, you're skating against the four time defending champs and and then end up, you know, being able to take them down? No, not at all. I mean, I think if you look at us on paper, I mean, we split with them this year, and, and I certainly think we were deserving of, of our ranking. and. Um, I think coming in today, we were an evenly matched team with them, and, and I think you can make the argument that uh, you know, we deserve to win today. And 
and certainly made enough plays. But you know, we didn't. You know, we understood that some people thought maybe we were coming in as an underdog. But I think for us as a group and you know, as a whole, we didn't feel that way at all. Kelsey, what was it like playing this game? Uh, stressful <laughs> and exhilarating. Uh, you know, for the first bout, probably period. And a lot of stress took over and then after that it's like well we're losing what's the worst that can happen from here you know so from there you just start battling and pushing back the best you can and saying i'm just going to do everything that i can at this point for my team and try to help them out where i can but a lot of stress a little bit of exhilaration <laughs> and particularly uh after you give up the first goal so early mm -hmm. just that it could be so demoralizing uh, oh it was yeah, we'll <laughs> <laughs> What had to happen there just to make sure that that didn't become a lot worse for this game? Um, well, let's see. For the ne next about 10 minutes, I sat there and told myself that a lot of bad things probably. But, you know, from there, it's sort of just saying, okay, well, we're only down one. We've gotten a goal before, you know, that's not a big deal. And we were right there on the door knocking on their end, you know, and after that, the girls really, I didn't get many more shots the rest of the first, you know, so. I think just knowing that it's right there and then we're tied and it's back to us starting the game, it's a zero zero game again, you know. So just sitting there and saying, Okay, well it's only one goal. That's not too bad. So just kind of battling through with that mentality. Peter, go ahead. Coach, I'm wondering um, how the different matchups tomorrow change the way you prepare if if all it doesn't. You know, we, we prepare every weekend like we're playing a ranked opponent no matter who we're playing and I think the biggest change is it's a quick turnaround for us. Um, so certainly we're not going to be able to prepare it throughout the week like we have for our opponents the last two weekends. Um, so that would be a little bit of adjustment for myself and Jordan and my assistant. But you know we'll have the team prepared. And, and it, like I said, it's a quick turnaround. I think in that type of game tomorrow, and, and both teams are a quick turnaround. I think just more than anything, it's who's system strong and who plays the right way. And um, you're going to create your own puck luck just based off of your work ethic, right? So I, I think, you know, when the puck drops tomorrow, we'll be prepared and ready to go and certainly confident in this group that we're going to be able to come out on top. Coach, how critical are these couple extra hours of rest that you guys are going to get given the fact that you just basically played two games? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, playing the early game is, is beneficial, right, uh, this time around. I mean, I think you know, we have a lot of parents that are in town, so um, the team will get a chance to spend some time with them. And um, the rest is a big component, like you mentioned earlier. But uh, I think it's an advantage, but not really a big one. You know, I think it, tomorrow, I mean, emotions, energy, everybody's going to be, you know, bringing their best. So I, I don't think the turnaround really makes much of a difference. I mean, no matter who we play tomorrow, they're going to be ready to go, you know, whether they're on 18 hours of rest or 24 hours of rest.